This presentation gives instructions on how to create a project plan with Merlin for Mac OS X. This tutorial is presented by Jonathan Duxbury. We'll start by opening Merlin by double-clicking the Merlin icon located on your desktop. The Merlin welcome screen will open. Go ahead and select Create an Empty Project. A window will open confirming that your copy of Merlin is not licensed. Go ahead and select OK. The project page will open. Now we will be able to begin creating our project plan. First, we'll go ahead and name our project. To do so, click on File, Save As. Let's go ahead and save our file as Sample HAP Project Plan. Click Save. You can see that our project plan is now appropriately named. The next thing we'll want to do is to select a project start date. To do this, select the appropriate start date on the right hand side of the screen. In this case, I've selected February 19, 2009. Make sure to select your appropriate start date and also the appropriate calendar. The calendar will set the working hours for your project. In this case, we will select the standard 8-hour working day. We'll go ahead and save our work so far. Make sure to save your work periodically. Now we'll go ahead and set the resources we will use for a project plan. To do so, click on View and select Resources View. From the Resources sheet, you will enter the different resources that you're going to use for this project. To insert a new resource, click on the plus sign next to the search bar. A new resource row will pop up. We'll go ahead and type in management for the new resource title. For this project, we won't need all of the default columns Merlin provides us with. Go ahead and click on view and scroll to show view options. For this project, we only need the title, type, project, initials, and email columns. Go ahead and select these column sets and deselect all others. Once we select the appropriate column sets, we can go ahead and create the titles necessary to complete our project. Continue to insert new resources by selecting the plus button next to the search bar. You should create resources for the analyst, developer, deployment team, project manager, tester, and trainer in addition to management. Note that I added the letter R to the initial set for trainer to differentiate between tester and trainer in the initials column. After we have completed our resource list for the project, we can switch back to the activities view. Like the resource sheet, we do not need all of the default columns Merlin has provided us with. To hide the unneeded columns, go ahead and click view and scroll to show view options. We only need the title, given planned work, expected start, assigned resources, expected end, and predecessors column sets for this project. Our project plan should now have the appropriate column sets. Now we can add the new activities to our project plan. To do this, click on the Add button near the search bar. We'll go ahead and name our new activity Summary Task 1. Now we can go ahead and add the individual tasks. Go ahead and add a new activity. We'll name our first task Task 1A and give it three days to complete. We'll continue to add new tasks until we have all five. Name the remaining tasks Task 1B, 1C, 1D, and 1E. 1B will have two days to be completed, 1C three days, 1D one day, and 1E two days. Now we will want to link the tasks together so that the task days will correspond to the sequences of the tasks. To do this, highlight all five tasks and click on the Chain Activities button located near the search bar. Once the tasks are linked, you'll notice that the dates have been adjusted accordingly, where Task 1A will start on the 19th and end on the 23rd. Task 1B will then pick up and start on the 24th and end on the 25th. You can see also the graphical representation of each task on the graph side. After 1A, you'll see task 1B will start on the 24th and end on the 25th. We'll go ahead and save our work to confirm the changes we've made. The next thing we're going to do is to format the worksheet. 
Formatting the worksheet will make it not only easier to read, but also format the tasks accordingly so that the reader will know that all five tasks really belong under Summary Task 1. We can do this by highlighting the five tasks and click on Edit and then Indent. You can now see clearly that the tasks belong under Summary Task 1. Be sure to add up the days for each task and enter it into the Given Plan to Work column for Summary Task 1. Let's go ahead and save our work again. Now it's time for us to enter the resources for each of the tasks. For 1A, we'll select Management, 1B, Project Manager, 1C, Management, 1D, Analyst, and 1E, Analyst. After selecting the resources, you'll notice also that the resource initial will be located on the top line in the graph section. Let's go ahead and save our work. The take-home lesson for this tutorial is creating a project plan from scratch, setting the resource sheet, organizing the resource sheet, entering the tasks, setting the duration for each task, linking the tasks, and entering resources.